Ordnance Survey has unveiled a solar-powered drone that is capable of flying for 90 days in one stretch, and will take higher quality images of Earth. It will circle at approximately 67,000 feet above the ground and snap images to sell to organizations and businesses. First tests of the Astrogan unmanned aerial vehicle are scheduled to take place before the end of 2019. Ordnance Survey is the majority stakeholder in Astigan, a firm based in Bridgewater, Somerset. The company works in the same factory that was once home to Facebook's Aquila Internet Drone Project. This link to Facebook, is the only connection between the two drone projects, the company claims. It weighs 330 pounds, 150 kilograms, has a wingspan of almost 130 feet, and is controlled remotely. Astigan says its mobility makes it far cheaper and more flexible than the alternative of using satellite imagery. Neil Ackroyd, a co-founding director of Astigan and acting CEO of Ordnance Survey, said, Astigan is another example of OS being at the forefront of geospatial technology. The platform has been designed to offer major cost and efficiency advantages over traditional methods. The company has produced a unique, British-made platform which can carry a range of interchangeable Earth observation instruments such as high-precision cameras, atmospheric monitoring systems and multi-spectral sensors. Astigan supports Ordnance Survey in enhancing its capabilities to work in partnership with other nations across the globe. By aligning this capability with our world-class geospatial production and mapping expertise, we hope to support organizations and countries in tackling major societal challenges including urbanization, land management, environmental change and mapping to support emergency response in the case of natural disasters. Brian Jones, Astigan Managing Director, headed the project and was previously involved in Solar Impulse, the first solar-powered plane to travel around the globe. He said, this remarkable aircraft has met every goal and passed all milestones in its ambitious development program so far. We are excited about the year ahead as we increase our flights and move towards a fully operational high-altitude test. By the end of 2019 we aim to be completing endurance flight testing, building up to 90 days non-stop, which is the operational capability we're striving for. It's incredibly exciting that the UK has developed this kind of technology, delivering satellite capabilities, unparalleled flexibility and improved efficiency, all at a vastly reduced cost. We look forward to completing this project and seeing the aircraft deliver on its outstanding potential, which should provide a range of scientific and environmental benefits.